Look at that. Insane. Hey guys, it's Ifanema. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, I am a Nigerian content creator and I make videos all about home, life, and style. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time. I would love it if you checked out some of my other videos and if you like the vibe over here, consider joining my family. I am on a road to 10K and I would love it if you got on board. I may or may not have a special surprise coming when 10k eventually happens <coughs> a giveaway i would love it if you could get on board because when that giveaway comes i'm not going to put giveaway in the title because i only want my true supporters to know about it so please i've bribed you enough i have a blog pinterest TikTok, twitter instagram i would love it if you check me out on one of your favorite social media platforms i will link all the links to all of them down below enough rambling let's jump right into the video monthly favorites used to be one of my favorite videos it really reminds me of old school youtube and it is something that i have wanted to bring back to my channel for the longest time but i don't want to force it right because you might not always have monthly favorites and I don't wanna be that person that's just showing you guys really boring things because I've committed to doing these every month. So this might not be a monthly series. I wanna come on here and say that first of all, but this month I have a lot of cool things to show you and I'm gonna jump right into it. I have my phone because I have made a list. I've tried to group everything into categories as much as possible. Let's start off with home. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know I'm always in TK Maxx, I'm always in Home Sense. Those are just my favorite stores. To all my US viewers, because a lot of you guys are actually in the US, TK Maxx is the same thing as TJ Maxx. It's just called TK Maxx over here. I personally do not like clothes shopping in TK Maxx. I find it really chaotic, but I will instantly run to the home section. I recently scored a full set of Le Creuset cookware. Oh, and not just a full set, but a full set in a neutral color. Now, if you know anything about TK Maxx, you know it's very easy to find Le Creuset in yellow and red and blue, but impossible to find in a neutral color. And I found a whole set I do not go to the same TK Maxx because I get asked all the time. I go to whatever TK Maxx I see close to me. I'll go on my lunch break when I'm at work, if I'm in the city, uh, if I'm like passing one in a mall. So I really cannot help you there. So I don't even know what these are called, but can you see? This is like a really pretty oval cookware dish and it is in this gorgeous cream set. So I actually had found two of these in pure white. I'll put up a picture in a different TK Maxx months ago. And one of my friends had messaged me that she actually uh, had been looking for those. So I made a joke and I'm like, you know what? If I ever find another set, I'll consider giving those to you. So I recently found the matching set in this cream color. So I actually sold the white set to her. I hadn't, I hadn't used them or anything, so it was perfect. These are originally 59 pounds and I got them for $29.99. So in here it says that this is stoneware and it's suitable for use in the oven, dishwasher, wow, microwave and freezer. I can't put this on a stove top, but for everything else it's Gucci and I love it. So I got the oval. I also was able to get the square. Okay, so the oval one is the oval casserole dish with a lid. And then this is the square casserole dish with lid. So this one came with a label. So that's how I know what this one's called. So as you can see, when I saw this set, I was in, I was crazy. I was like, what? Look at that. Insane. And again, this had been reduced from 29.99, from 59 pounds to 29.99. And the markings on the bottom of this say 3.3 liter, three quarts. And this is just what it looks like on the inside. So, oh, I'm so, so excited. The next thing I picked up in the same matching color is this round, I think this is a serving dish, I would say. Again, they're not labeled, so I'm going to definitely have to see, but you can also cook with this. And this was reduced from 40 pounds to 14.99. And then the last thing I got was the rectangular oven tray in the same cream color. 
This actually has a size 2.5 liters or 2.6 quarts. This one doesn't have a size, the round one. And this one was $24.99, originally $55. You guys know I'm a stove girl. I still love stove pieces. But for me, I was able to get four pieces for 100 pounds, which is insane. Is it 100 pounds? Yeah. Like that's literally half the price of my one stove pot. So I'm just so excited, like I cannot wait. And now that I've shown you guys, I can actually use them. While we're on the topic of home stuff, another really cool TK Maxx find have been these huge diffusers. I had never heard about this brand before. This is the Crespi brand, Crespi Milano brand, and they had them in TK Maxx reduced from 100 pounds to 20 pounds. Now, I don't know how true that 100 pound markup is. <laughs> That's one thing about TK Maxx. Sometimes I find like their original RRPs are a bit out there. But these diffusers, ugh. first of all, they're huge. I don't think it's really coming across how big they are. I think they're 500 milliliters. I'll put up the original box that it came in. I've had these for a couple months now, and I'm so sad because they're starting to finish. It's really hard to find huge diffusers that do a good job, that aren't really expensive. And it's a shame because one thing about TK Maxx is once you see something, once you might not see it again. So I think at one point they were in kind of all the TK Maxx's and now I can't find them anywhere and I really, really like them. I love the bottle, I love how simple they are. I love the fragrances because they're not perfumey fragrances. This one is the red tea and iris one and this one is a lot more floral, I would say. And then I have one of the white tea ones. I'll put up the um, name and that one is really fresh and those are the kind of fragrances I like in the house. I don't like things that are too like oody or too strong or anything like that. So those are the two home pieces that I wanted to share with you guys. Now I'm going to move on to some beauty favorites. I recently filmed my updated soft glam makeup routine. I highly recommend watching that video if you haven't because I literally kind of walk you through how I've been doing my makeup step by step. But the three, I would have to say, stars products for me that I'm absolutely going to continue to repurchase are the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I absolutely love this, and I think that this is something that deserves all the hype. I don't even think I remember to use this today. This has your makeup staying all day in place. Like the one time I really tested this was in Greece. I was shooting content all day in the heat. And when I tell you, my makeup still looked so good at the end of the day, and I 100% attribute it to this. Like, this is the one product I know that if I want my makeup to look good all day, don't forget to use this. Another product that's equally worth the hype is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. I had never used Charlotte Tilbury products before a couple months ago, and I have to say, like, this powder and that setting spray holy grail i absolutely will be repurchasing both over and over again i've never used a setting spray that actually did anything for me <laughs> i feel like i've only ever tried to be fair the mac um, fix plus and that really didn't do much in my opinion but this right here goals and then this is the color i am in shade three which is tan in charlotte tilbury and this setting powder I have to say, like, sometimes products get a lot of hype, especially in the beauty industry. And I'm not the kind of person that believes in trying, like, a thousand different things. Before I purchased any of my new products, I did a lot of research. And these two products had so much hype that I just thought, you know what, they have to be good, right? And I have to say, absolutely worth the hype. Another beauty favorite for me is the NYX Butter Gloss. So this color that I'm wearing today is in Creme Brulee. I love this color. I love this formulation. I had tried NYX Butter Gloss ages ago and I just forgot about it and I don't know why I did because for me, this is the sort of finish that I like best on my lips. It's not matte. It's not too glossy. It's just very easy to wear. I love the packaging. It's slim. It's small. It'll fit in any bag. You guys know that I like the fancy lip glosses, but my biggest issue with those are how cumbersome the bottles are. So this is just so sleek. It's six pounds. And I think that for what you get, it's a really good value for money. And I'm literally already like making a list of a bunch of other colors that I want to buy. 
And then my last makeup favorite is the Glossier Cloud Paint. So before I actually tried this product, I had only ever been a powder blush girl. And I have to say, I really like cream, or I think this might actually be a liquid blush. What would you call this? Mm, it's not a cream. I think this is a liquid blush, but it's like a, a thick liquid. I really like the color payoff that you get with this. Like this is what I'm wearing today and this color is called Dawn. It's a really bright orange when you put it on the back of your hand, but once you put it into your skin and you let it kind of, what's the word, sink into your skin, it gives your skin a really beautiful flush. And the powder obviously makes your skin look more matte, so I like that this kind of adds a glow as well and lets like the natural oils in your skin seep through, if that makes sense. I really enjoy this and I definitely will be trying more of their colors. I have this rose water and glycerin hydrating face mist, but I actually use this in my hair. You guys know I have micro locks. If you don't know, I will link my micro locks video in the cards for you. I have a whole playlist actually, so I'll link the playlist. And I've been struggling with dry scalp. I have received contradicting advice on what to do about my dry scalp. And after a while, I was like, you know what? I make products, I know what will work, and I'm just going to use that. So I have an all natural cosmetics company back home in Nigeria called Ajali, and we actually make a rose water and glycerin toner from scratch like i make my own rose water and everything it's a very tedious process and i didn't want to have to do that <laughs> especially because i don't have any of my equipment here so i decided that i was going to go out and look for something that had a similar ingredients to the rose water that i make for a jelly and i found this on amazon and i was really impressed with their ingredients so it's just purified water it's vegetable glycerin and it is rose flower oil so to be honest, you could definitely make this at home. It's just water, glycerin, and rose essential flower oil, which is actually not the same thing <laughs> as what I do for mine, but this does a great job. So glycerin is a humectant, so it really helps to like absorb moisture and lock it in but it doesn't leave your scalp feeling greasy, which is kind of what I needed. So this is something that I spritz all over my scalp like once a week and it has really, really helped. And then in addition to this, I wanted to find an oil. So I bought this, which is a organic jojoba oil. And I also got this on Amazon. And this is a cold press and unrefined oil. I will literally just get the pipette a couple drops on the balls of my fingers and just massage it in. Yeah, these two products together have really helped to combat my dry scalp. I literally had dry flaking scalp that never itched, but it was very frustrating, but this has helped it so, so much. I'll link both products down below, and I'll also link my Ajali website. So if you are in Nigeria and you wanna check out the rose water that my company makes from actual fresh roses, then I would love that. While we're on the topic of roses, I wanted to highlight this a fragrance from Zara. This is the Rose Gourmand fragrance. And it's really funny because I was thinking about what fragrance I wanted to talk to you guys about a lot. And so many signs have been pointing to this recently. So I got into a conversation with my cousin about Zara fragrances and she has, was like, oh yeah, I've heard really good things about Rose Gourmands. And I'm like, oh my God, I have this and I love it. And ever since that conversation, I've been wearing this a lot more frequently. This is something that I never really considered to be long lasting because I couldn't smell it on myself. But other people can smell this on you. Oh. Mm. You guys will know if you've watched my fragrance collection, I don't like things that are too sweet. So I like things that are sweet, but with a musky, like sensual undertone, and this is it. This I've only had one cup of coffee today and I feel like my energy is already flailing. Coffee addict, anyway. Coffee beans. <laughs> I have two like coffee of the month subscriptions, one from Perky Blenders and one from Rave. So they will send me a different coffee blend every single month. But Fudge, which is what I have here, is the blend that I have chosen myself that I want every single month because I absolutely adore this coffee. It literally tastes like fudge. That's the best way I can describe it. Obviously it doesn't taste like fudge, it tastes like coffee, but it has notes of like a caramelly fudge type thing. And the best way to have this is with oat milk. It is so creamy, it is so decadent. It just feels like Sunday morning with a hug. And I'm the kind of person that likes to buy coffee beans because my 
coffee machine has a grinder but you can also get this already ground and you can get it ground for depending on how you like to brew your coffee so you can get it for a filter or an aeropress or a stove top which would all be the same you can get it for espresso you can get it for a cafe what's a cafeteria oh i think that's like a french press but i love this coffee guys if you are in the uk and you're looking for somewhere where you can get fresh coffee beans delivered to your house for a good price. They have really good service. I never had any issues with Rave or Perky Blenders, to be fair. I love their packaging. Only have great things to say about this company and this actual blend below. I'll link both companies. I think they both have like affiliate programs where you can kind of recommend someone and maybe get like bonus points or something. So I'll sign up for both because I actually really like both companies. So if you want to try either of them out, definitely sign up using my link. And I think we both get free coffee if I'm not mistaken. I definitely want to check out some other companies as well. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know down below. I try not to get coffee from the supermarket because it's not usually fresh. When you get coffee from companies where they actually like roast their own beans, it's a lot fresher. So if I'm passing by like an independent coffee shop, I will usually buy a bag of beans or I'll order them online. Those are like my favorite ways personally to get my hands on coffee. This is a favorite that I've spoken about a lot on my channel. This is a water bottle. And I know you might be saying, how's this girl talking about a water bottle? This water bottle is a game changer because it is an insulated water bottle with a straw. You might not think that makes a big difference, but guys, before I had this water bottle, I had these big glass bottles that literally did not keep my water cold, which was problem number one. And problem number two was that they all had open tops where you kind of had to lift your bottle and chug that way. With this, all I have to do is this. And so much more convenient. And because it keeps your water cold the whole day, I'm drinking so much more water. I don't know how I didn't think about this. So I will link this down below. This was a recommendation that Lydia Millen made and I live for her Amazon recommendations. And this is one that I have to say, get it. I have two style favorites as no, this way. <laughs> The first being my Hermes Oran sandals. I have these in the gold color. Gold is Hermes's name for tan. I'm going to film a whole video on these. I think that will come out after this video, so I don't want to talk too much about these. But spoiler alert, they're super comfortable. They go with everything. Great quality. I absolutely love them. I want them in many more colors. Stay tuned for the more detailed review. <laughs> this is a bag you guys haven't seen in a while. This is my Lelebe basket bag. And you guys will know that I picked her up all the way back in February and I'm finally able to use her now. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a, some secret tea. The bag that I showed you guys in that video is not this bag. <laughs> I actually ended up returning that bag because I felt like I wasn't really happy with the shade of the color I think it was. So I ended up going into the Lueve shop on New Bond Street and picking this up in person and then I was able to see like five or six different bags and then pick the one that I wanted. So I say all that to say that the beauty in the Lueve basket bags is that they're all different. They're all different shapes, they're all slightly different colors and now that the summertime's here I'm finally using this bag way more and you guys are obviously searching for this bag way more because that video suddenly is getting way more views so I love that for me and you I hope you guys are finding the video helpful and I have had a few people ask me about this bag and I haven't really been able to respond too much because I'm only really just now starting to use it and I absolutely love this bag I think that it's a perfect bag for spring summer it is just so easy to style. It's the kind of bag where I want to use it all the time. If I ever have a circumstance where I can get away with a bag this big, I'm gonna bring it. So like I've taken this with me shopping, I've taken it with me to the beach, I've taken it with me on holiday. The only thing I will say is with the beach, like no matter how much you dust the bag, it'll always have sand in it. This is a bag that gets more floppy with time. When I first bought it, it was so sturdy and now it's getting a lot more squishy, which I absolutely love. I really, really love this bag. And one thing that I think is really cool is they're like the perfect shade of tan. Like, look at that. And now I have some tech favorites that I'm gonna run through really quickly. This is a little mini charger that I've spoken to you guys a few times, but I wanted to make sure that everyone saw this. So this is a portable 
phone, well I think iPhone charger, but you can obviously use it for like your AirPods, your iPad, whatever uses a USB-C. And the cool thing about this is that the charger is already built into it. Hopefully that's focusing so you can see. So you never have to bring a wire with you or anything. And it looks so cool when you attach it to a phone. Like look at how it looks. Like how seamless is that? Now that we live in times where like bags are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, having such a mini portable charger on the go, it's just amazing. So I really wanted to recommend these to you guys. I will link this down below. I got this on Amazon and mine came in a set of two. So I have a black one and a white one, but I think you can just buy one. So I'll link both options for you guys down below. The last favorite I have is a book. The book I want to talk to you guys about is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Hold on, let me make sure I have the title correct. Oh yeah, not me getting the title right on the first go. This is a book that I love so much that I bought twice. The first time I was reading it, I actually left it at my friend's house and I was so into it, I bought it again. <laughs> so that's how you know, like you really like a book. So I ended up giving the second copy that I ended up finishing off to a friend. So yeah, hence why I don't have the book to show with you guys, but I'll put the cover over here. So this book without giving it away is a book that had been recommended to me so many times. I think I'd seen it on a few people's book clubs. Amazon had recommended it to me a few times, but I don't know why I just never got around to buying it. So basically it tells the story of a Hollywood actress in her, I think she's in her 70s towards the end of the book. She's been married seven times. So it tells the story of like her life, all her different husbands, everything she's gone through in Hollywood to become this amazing, famous actress. If you like, glamour, if you like love stories, if you like hearing the stories about how women have hustled to like get to where they want to be in life. It talks a lot about the power of femininity, sensuality, sexuality. Um, it's a really good book. I really enjoyed reading it and it's the kind of book that I haven't read in a really long time. It was an instant like page turner and I've really been trying to get into reading recently and sometimes you're just reading a book and it just feels like a chore and it takes you like months to finish and then you come across a book like that where you read it in like two days and it's like oh yes this is what I miss this is how I wish every book could be and I haven't been that excited about a book in a really long time so I really wanted to mention that book here for you guys this video has been a lot longer than I thought it was going to be so if you enjoyed it please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you want to see more monthly favorites or recent favorite videos from me definitely let me know if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed you might as well subscribe you obviously like me so thank you in advance <laughs> please make sure you check out some of my other youtube videos as well i will leave two here for you make sure you check me out on my other social media platforms let me know if there are any other videos you want to see from me and i will catch you guys in the next one stay blessed stay safe and take care bye